Hi everybody, my name is Jim with Fullmoon Adventure Club and today I'm just doing a real quick tip for you guys. Um, if your RV refrigerator is like mine, it runs off AC power when it's plugged into shore power and gas. And uh, mine has an automatic switch, so when you press the automatic button, if you're connected to AC power, it's automatically going to switch over to AC power. And if you disconnect it, it's automatically going to switch over to gas and light it up. Now the problem that I was running into is I was plugged into shore power and the automatic button was pressed, but it would not switch to AC power, it just stayed on gas. So I was wasting propane even though I was plugged in at my house. Now I spent about 30 minutes pulling my hair out trying to figure out what was going on with this thing, including checking the power uh, coming into the RV. And you know, I turned on the microwave so I had power, you know, I checked that, turned it off. Uh, checked all the fuses, checked all the uh, breakers. Then I checked the AC plug in the back of the refrigerator and it was plugged in and uh, could not figure that out and then it dawned on me and there's a spoiler here it was the GFCI plug in my bathroom so always check your GFCI plug sometimes they're in the bathroom or the kitchen and sometimes they're connected to a lot of other plugs and if that little fuse trips none of those other plugs down the line are gonna work and so I'm gonna run you out and show you a real quick video of exactly what I'm talking about right now okay so here's the situation you're plugged into shore power you go to turn on your fridge here. And absolutely nothing happens. Okay, there we go. Alright, so gas is on. But if you push the automatic button here, it should switch to AC. but it doesn't. Now we know we have AC power. Um, I mean, if you want to, you can, we can just switch around and check something like say the microwave here, make sure. So we definitely have AC power, but our fridge is not switching over to AC. Now you check the breakers and the fuses and stuff like that, and it's still not coming on. And you know you have AC power you know the breakers are fine, you know the fridge is plugged in in the back to its AC power source, what could it possibly be? Check your GFCI plugs. Make sure you don't have one that's tripped somewhere because guess what? That's gonna run a lot of different plugs on each side of the RV. And in my case, I was about to start you know, freaking out. I was like, what is going on here? And if you go over here into the restroom, hidden away up underneath this cabinet, is a GFCI plug. And we're gonna, do I hit reset on that? Yeah, reset. And now when we come back around, we'll see if the AC switches, uh, if the uh, fridge switches over to AC. There you go. So that was the problem in my case. And that would have taken me a ton of time to try and troubleshoot and figure out and I'd have been cursing and pulling my hair out trying to figure that out until I remembered that, uh, you know, I have a lot of GFCI plugs in this thing and uh, that they're connected to a ton of plugs. So that's a little tip for you. Hopefully it saves you some time. So there you go. Very simple solution to a very simple problem if you know where to look. If you have one side of your RV electrical working and the other side's not, or this appliance is working and that appliance is not, GFCI plugs are a really good place to start because they connect to every other plug that's downline from them. So that's a really good place to start. As far as your RV uh, refrigerator goes, um, if it's not switching over to AC, and of course it's turned to automatic or AC on the refrigerator so it will switch over, you wanna make sure you have shore power coming from, uh, you know, shore power to the RV. Check your fuses and breakers, and uh, then you're gonna check to make sure that your GFCIs are not tripped, and make sure the refrigerator is set properly. None of that works. You might wanna check the AC connection in the back of the refrigerator, make sure it's plugged in nice and secure. And if none of that works, you probably have some other kind of underlying problem. So I hope that saves you a little bit of time. It's just a little quick tip that I came up with. I had, uh, I, I looked for it for 30 minutes, so I'm trying to save you the trouble. Hope that helps you out. If it did, please like, share, subscribe. My name is Jim with Full Moon Adventure Club. And until the next video, thanks so much for watching and happy camping.